Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 23rd of 2022, well, it is titled Apollo 11 Landing Panorama. So what do we see here? Well, here is a panoramic view of the Apollo 11 landing site based on images taken by Neil Armstrong back in 1969 during the first moon landing. And in fact, the very frame to the furthest to the left was the very first picture taken by someone standing on another world. So it was the very first time it had been taken from the surface of another object uh, within our solar system. Now, as we look out here, we do see the lunar surface, which looks quite different than what we generally are used to seeing here on Earth. Of course, we see no kinds of vegetation. You're not going to see any kind of life. And we're not going to see any features that we're used to seeing here. It's just a very rocky surface and coated in a very thick layer of soil called the regolith. And this is a sort of a powdered rock that has been built up over billions of years of tiny meteorite impacts. And while you can't see any footprints here, when you, de you see the footprints, you can see how finely packed that material is and that their feet did not go down very far into the lunar soil. And we'll also see, of course, some craters as you look out here. The moon is covered with craters, having a vast number of craters scattered around of all different sizes from very large craters, not visible here to very tiny craters. The first landing was done in the one of the Maria, in this case, the Sea of Tranquility. Maria being the areas called the seas on the moon because they look flat and smooth and darker when we look at them here from Earth. So when we see that, we see that the Maria, as compared to other areas of the moon, are relatively flat and relatively free of at least the very largest craters. You will see some craters there, but overall it's relatively crater free. And that tells us that these are some, these are some of the younger parts of the moon's surface, dating back maybe three, three and a half billion years old to when ma massive lava flows filled in very large impact basins on our moon. Now, since then, there's been very little change to these. The moon does not change quickly as things do here on Earth. Things remain much the same. And if you were to go back to this landing site today, you would note that you would still see the footprints made by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin that they made just just a little over 53 years ago. Those would still be present and would be as sharp as they were uh, when they were made back in 1969. So that was our picture of the day for July 23rd of 2022. It was titled Apollo 11 Landing Panorama. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be hexagons and rings. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.